Tim Westwood, the freestyle. <laughs> Man. Motherfucking Boulder. <laughs> man, niggas, man, nigga, nigga was clowning me, man, for that freestyle. Damn, a nigga can't even have fun and fuck around, bro. Like, damn, nigga. I I personally like, man, does it, did that shit even seem serious? Niggas was acting like I was dead serious on that shit, man. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's your boy Hakeem, and you're watching Our Generation Music, and today I'm with a longtime friend, my Smoke nigga Smoke. Kurt. Yeah, Sersky. I couldn't brother. even get your name off by myself. Yeah, we in here, me and Hakeem, yeah, Sersky. You know what time it is? Man, it's been a long time. Yeah. <sighs> we just walking up and down Melrose, getting fucking baked wings, eating chicken. That's throwback, man. You remember that? Yeah, those are good days, man. Yeah. Those are life miss those days. Life Sim is simple. Very simple. Niggas, all niggas cared about was possibly just wings. Wings <laughs> and maybe uh getting something from round two. Getting that good deal. I still be going there sometimes to see if they have any SBs and shit. Yeah. Now nah, dunks are going crazy, like super crazy right now. Yeah, like, I've been I've been collecting SBs though. Yeah, I'm like going. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not saying like I think I think like a lot of people have been I've been seeing a lot of people collecting SBs, but I've been doing that shit for years. Like, that shit just came back as a trend. I've been doing that shit. Nah, for real, for real. I remember being, you being on the block with some SBs and shit. Even, I think, they're about to bring back the Nike custom ID type shit. Oh, yeah. So that's for sure is going to go crazy. Let's do it. So what you was on today? What you was doing and shit? Shit. So today I shot a music video because I got a surprise for the fans, man. I got... Ooh. I'm excited for the, you know, get back in there and some new music. Yes, sir. All right, well, let, let's talk about some old music and stuff. Um, Florida Jit. Yes, sir. What was that process like making that? What inspired that? Um, shit. Um, what really inspired that is, you know, well, well, me and Ronnie already been working together. Like, you know, people know that me and Ronnie both got our first plaque together, which was Audi. Mm -hmm. Like, um, which is it's, legendary. Think, it's pretty much. I think it's double platinum, but I haven't submitted it to R I A A or whatever yet. Yeah, so that's like we both got our first plate together, and um, you know, like me and Ronnie been working together like mm -hmm. throughout my whole career. So like, I just felt like it was time that we just make a whole project together. You feel me? And um, I need the Florida jit because I'm a Florida jit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you might have somewhat put the world onto that world word. I th I think I did like not not put the world onto it, you know, because that's like Florida slang, like that's that's normal. But you know, I think a lot of people that didn't know what it meant. Definitely. Mm. Mm. Okay. How do you, were you surprised on how it was received? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, people was fucking with it. People fucked with it really heavy. So, I mm don't -hmm. uh, no. Usually, um, I stream a lot and shit. But like, usually, like, a lot of niggas be hanging and shit too. But yeah. I still, you know, I still stream a lot. So like, I don't give a fuck. But, um, with this project, like, I really didn't like. Everybody was fucking with it all the way through. So, mm -hmm. how did um Tide Pen with Jack Harlow? How did that come about? Oh uh, shit! Shout out Jack Harlow. That's my boy. Um shit, I was I was already talking to Jack Harlow and shit. Like we talked through the DM, like we text and shit. And um, for, um, I felt I told I told him like, yo, like get on this, you know, on this on this project, like this mix up. I got Florida, jit. and he was like, I was gonna I was gonna send him a song, but he was so quick, like he just sent me a song. I was like, damn, like. Mm. You feel me? So he sent me he sent me that and um and you know I hopped on it right there and it was a rap. So you guys have two records or a um, couple? He actually sent me a couple songs, but I've only recorded on that one so far. Okay, yeah. But, you know, he gone crazy. Yeah. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Shout out Jack Carlo, that's my boy. Man. <sighs> Fucking Corona. I tried to get your jewel, but you wouldn't let me hit it because of nah, Corona. Nah, you COVID positive, bro. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> um, how has Corona like you know affected your career and everything? Oh, I've, I've missed out like on three million dollars, maybe four million dollars, like missing shows and shit, bro. Like they need to bring that shit back. Four you know M's, bro. Like maybe three, three close to four. Like, bro, like you got to think about it. Like, I missed out on like at least probably three tours, all the festivals. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, add it up. <laughs> No, I'm saying we missed, missed a, lot, a lot of artists, not just me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like so, 
imagine artists that like are, are on a bigger level than me. They bigger bigger level than me. They probably lost like tens, twenties, million, like thirty million dollars. Like yeah, you know I've, I've like, heard some crazy numbers for sure. Yeah, exactly. For sure, for sure. Are you gonna get vaccinated? That's the real question. <laughs> I don't know. If I do, I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see like more people do it first. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If I do, like a year from now, the only thing I've seen about the vaccination is people dying, you know and that saying? one like, lip shit. Like I seen a nigga lip just. Oh like, yeah, and, hit the, and, and, and yeah, exactly. So I got. I gotta see more people um get it first because I don't know. That shit kind of scary. Nah, for real. But it's, I feel like I feel like we're gonna have to. I feel like they're gonna force us into getting it, and then like. It's gonna be on some shit like yo, no vaccination, you can't come in here. So they're gonna force us into getting that shit. Damn, that's gonna be like the new fucking uh, being twenty one years old to get in the club. Like nigga, you ain't vaccinated, you can't get in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the frat niggas are gonna love that shit. They're gonna be like, bro, you you're not vaccinated, you can't come in here. Yeah, niggas gonna be like, you came from outside of the club, you can't even get in. <laughs> no, who's that, who, who said that? Chris Brown. Uh huh. Look at me now. He's like more like you ain't vaccinated. You, you can't get vaccinated. In. You can't get in the club. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Do you still make beats and shit? Like, yeah. What was the last time like you made something that you rapped on and it came out, or do you have stuff in the vault? I mean, shit. Today, nigga, the the song, I, the video I shot today, I made that beat. Like, with, you did? That's your heart. Like, uh, yeah, bro. Me, it, it was me and my boy, um, Mike Zara and um DSC Sunny. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, bro. Like, do you ever and that beat is crazy. You heard that song. Them, that snare is yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, bro. So I, I, I'm like, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Was that something like you picked back up during quarantine or like? No, I never stopped, bro. Like most of the songs you hear, like even if it says another producer, I produced on it too. I just don't be crediting myself. Like I rather just Ooh. get the check. Like you know what I'm saying? But yeah, most of the songs I put out, I like I I make the beat with with the um producer. Oh, okay, bet. What are, what program are you using? FO. Always. Yeah. To the death. Yeah. Um, do you see yourself um producing for any other artists? Like you see nigga like Chief Keith, you know, going crazy now for nah, yeah. Uzi. Nah, yeah, we send out packs. We send we send out packs to people. That's hard. Is yeah. there like a dream person you probably wanna produce for? Um shit, I wanna produce for everybody's shit. I produced some shit on Shy, on um Shy Glizzy's, I think last album. Um, like yeah, bro. I be I be producing shit for people. I just don't t- I just don't talk about it. Like you know what I'm saying. But like, damn, I'm lit producing too. Like <laughs> I know in the early stages, obviously, like you was going crazy. But yeah. I didn't know. I thought like you was full on like you know just in rap mode. That's nah, still I am hard. full rap mode. But like, there's rap like shit. There's probably songs you fuck with that I produce and you don't even know. Damn. Yeah. I gotta go look back into that, man. That's fucking crazy. Tim Westwood, the freestyle. <laughs> man, <laughs> motherfucker, Boulder. <laughs> man, niggas, man, nigga, nigga was clowning me, man, for that freestyle. Damn, a nigga can't even have fun and fuck around, bro. I'm like, damn, nigga. I, I personally, like, man, does it, did that shit even seem serious? Niggas was acting like I was dead serious on that shit, man. Like, ugh. you was clearly, clearly choke, uh, trolling. Not trying. I was just fucking around. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't I wasn't on some like, you know, my palms are sweaty. Neat we like I was just fucking around. Like, you know, you feel me? Like, no disrespect to Eminem. Shout out Eminem. He's one of the goats, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. Like, I just saw it on my fucking feed and like I was like, yo, this is crazy, bro. Like, this nigga is definitely good. Yeah, yeah, I woke up to like Fucking three hundred, like three hundred fifty k followers overnight when that shit went by. I was like, wow, three hundred fifty k. I was like, damn, look at this shit going. This shit was everywhere, bro. Like, yeah, I saw much dank make one, all types of shit. Like, oh, that. you did? Yeah, I, mean, huh, I fucking much. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Yet. I gotta watch it, bro. Nigga, that shit just went crazy, bro. Like, did you like? Did you like go there with? Bars written, or you was like, nah, I'm just gonna go there freestyle, like, cause nah, but but one of the freestyles I did was a song that was written that came out, mm-hmm. like the um, just like a three year year bitch, you know I stay hot, you know what I'm saying that that was a song on um, uh, on lost on, on lost planet EP, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like, so the ones that actually sounded like fire, like you know, those are like verses I had written and shit, like mm-hmm. that. yeah. That was that was a pretty fun day on the TL. But look, you got three hundred and something k followers off of it. Not all press is bad press, I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, I got more than that. I'm just saying, like, when it first happened overnight, like, mm-hmm. I just randomly got 350k followers, but I still, I still kept getting more after that. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, that shit was fucking everywhere, bro. Like, it was just. I'll post a picture and like all my comments just say boner, limelight, boner, boner, boner. I'm a boner, limelight, boner, boner, boner. I was like, damn. Bruh, I I put up like a tweet like asking people what I should ask you about. And they're like, nigga, does this nigga, ask that nigga if he still has a boner. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, bruh? That shit is fucking crazy, bruh. Like, man, that shit was funny as fuck. Uh, so with all that being said, how do you feel about your relationship with the internet, like, and just media in general? I mean, you know, I mean, I, I don't really, I fuck with the internet, but I don't know, I don't know if you noticed, I'm not really an internet person. Mm-hmm. I don't really be like, on that shit like that, I don't know if you noticed, but, I don't know, I just, I just don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't like, like, putting my, like, my life out there like that on Instagram, I don't know, you feel me? Cause yeah. it's like, it's too much shit going on, and I feel like niggas be plotting, you feel me? Like. So I'm be, I'm be, it could be very dangerous too. Yeah, so like, you know what I'm saying? I that's why I don't, that's why, that's that's really the only reason I really don't even be posting shit like that. Like I post every once like I go through through hiatuses and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I go through hibernations and then I'll come back, you know, I'll start posting and then I'll just go back into hibernation. And it's like cause I just don't like I don't know, I just never been the type to like put everything out there. And I think I think that's one of the reasons why like why when I drop, mm-hmm. like, it's so random and it's always a big impact because it's like, you know, there's like a lot of mystery. Yeah. You get me? So, like, it keeps fan. I guess, I guess Wanting it just more. keeps fans on their toes, you know what I'm saying? Because I just, it just be random and, I, and I'd be gone from the internet, so. It's like, good. Twitter, bro, like, I, I really, like, I haven't been on Twitter and, like, I, I go on and look at shit sometimes, but I don't. Like I just I don't know, bro. I hear you. It's just I don't know. To, to, to be honest, it's just I've been like lately I've been feeling like it's like a lot of negative energy on the internet. For real, for real. And I feel like and I feel like when you when, when you're just watching straight negative energy like that shit just I don't know like it's not good for you consuming. Yeah, it's, it's your diet too. Like whatever exactly, you're consuming, bro, I, sh- I feel I feel like that shit cl- clouds your head with like bullshit. You get me? Nah, for real. Who do you, who do you really? So it's like the more I stay off the internet, like I feel I f- like I feel more healthy mentally. You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm mentally unhealthy, but you know, like it just I just feel better. You yeah. get me? Because it's just like when you just when you're just reading straight negative shit all the time on like mm-hmm. you know on Instagram, just seeing fucking people dying shit like yeah, you know and. I don't know. It's just I can't. I can't be just like watching all this negative shit because then that shit just makes me it's feel cloud, like man. shit. Like Black you know cloud. what I'm saying? Like yeah. It's like, I feel like uh, rappers for sure in their deals need a therapist too. Like just have how niggas have entourages. Like nigga, the label should just pay for a therapist to be with niggas like at all times. Like yeah, definitely. Like that should be like standard. Like, yeah, definitely. And the crazy thing is, is like. If somebody would have told me told me that before, I would have been like, "Why?" Right? But after being signed and after like you know being in the industry for like four years, type shit, mm-hmm. like I kind of I kind of see it. It would help because it's like you know when you're an artist, like your life, you know when you blow up, your life changes like this, right? Instantaneous. It's your your life changes like this. So it's like you gotta think about it. You, there's no time to accustom to anything. There's no time to. You know what I'm saying? So you go you go from being from from being able to do whatever you want to not being able to go to an amusement park, not being able to you know, you can't do shit. So you know it's it's like being locked up. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I think I think it, it could help artists to have a therapist to talk to somebody and shit like that. And you know, like I think it could also help like, you know, artists that have like drug problems, like to mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, to help them out too. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit, I I've, I've been through that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, know I, you, I had times where I was like, you know what I'm saying, fucked up on the lean real bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I went to rehab type shit. So Yeah, I know you went like a while ago, but have you went again or Oh no, nah, yeah, nah. Just one time? Yeah, just one time. Cause I was just really fucked up on lean. I was just like drinking too much lean, but you know what I'm saying? Like and I just felt like I was just slow. Like I was just in in the days, but like 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like that now. You feel me? I feel. Do you think the lean like affects the music? Like, what is your theory on? To that? To be honest, like I get it, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying I will never take a sip of lean or nothing again. But I'm saying, like, I think, you know, what I'm saying it, it helps some people with their creative process. You get me? Mm-hmm. So, I understand. I understand. You know what I'm saying? That's why you can't. You can't bash nobody for or doing judging anything them, like yeah. that. You can't judge nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody got their own, their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everything. Like I fuck. I, well, I fuck with shrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah. Wow. I've never done mushrooms. I love shrooms. What? 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 Have you had a crazy trip or any? Or does even mushrooms work like that? I don't know. Like, do you get like a crazy trip or like watch some crazy shit? Yeah. I mean, it's it's not like it's not like um, I feel like acid is more intense. Mm. A little bit, but you know, shrooms is more like it's more like you know to get more in tune with yourself. You know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So I, I like, you know what I'm saying. I like, I like shrooms. Yeah, there's this one movie. It's like Man, it's cold as fuck. I'm yeah, stuttering and shit. It's cold as hell in here. They're gonna be like, damn, smoke perp cold. Yeah. <laughs> hey, someone, can you tell the dude to turn? Yeah, turn, turn, yeah, turn the, um, man, the new EP. It was, supposed to, it was it. supposed to be a surprise, but fuck it, you just broke it. So like, I mean, we're we probably going to drop this yeah. right before you do it. So Okay, you know. yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I didn't tell nobody, but I got a surprise EP dropping, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's that's where um, I, I got a song. With, I got, I think the only, yeah, the only, it's only like five, six songs. And, um, you know, the only feature I got there are, on there is Mosey. You know, shout out to Mosey. Shout that's, out to homie Mosey, for that's sure. My, that's my boy. I think it was just his birthday, you know? too. Yeah, 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 it was. And um, yeah, the EP is, is fire. The cover is, I think this is my, like, this is definitely my favorite cover that I've ever used for a project. And I'm mm. kind of mad I used it for an EP because it's so hard. Damn, the cover is so Were hard. you a part of the creative process with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it was my, it was, it was my, it was my, it was my idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you know, it's like people help me bring it to life. Were you are you producing on this project too or no? Yeah. Most of the songs are produced by me, Mike, and Mike Zara, and DSC Sunny, and then I got um, the Me and Mosey song produced by the Martians. Shout out Marsha. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I got I got a song produced by Ricky Remedy. Mm-hmm. And I got a song produced by uh, one of my boys. Uh, his name is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. That's yeah. a, that's a cool name. Yeah. Um. Wow. What's the importance of dropping this EP before um, Bless Your Track 2? Um, like, what do you mean? What's the importance of, like, of dropping? Like, is it just to get this like warmed up? Like, what what do you what do you want to oh, attain? I mean, wanna... it's be, I mean it's because you know I put up the preview to Prom Queen and I put up the preview to the Lil Mosey song and people were fucking with both crazy. Mm-hmm. So you were like, you know what? Fuck it, we're just gonna drop an EP like right before Bless Your Track 2. You know what I'm saying? Me and Murder and me and Murder went crazy on Bless Old Chapter Two. Bless Old Chapter Two is about to be insane. I was playing. I was playing some song. I was playing I some heard, songs. Dude, some of those shit um, sound fly. While you were in here setting up, yeah, um, yeah. the f- f- two that I was walking in there and I heard that sounded really dope. Yeah, Murder be going crazy. What's different about Bless Old Trap Two than Bless Old Trap One? Um, you know, I'm more experienced now. Like, you know, what I'm saying, I feel like, I feel like, uh, Bless Old Trap One, it was. An amazing project, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's one of it's one of my biggest projects. Um and I feel like it's just, you know, it's just more, you know, I've leveled up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I I'm I make better music, like you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, murder obviously, like he never stops getting better as a producer. So it's sure. just all leveled up. It's just it's crazy. This project is probably one of my favorite projects, bro. Like this shit is insane. That's dope, man. I'm you know glad what I'm saying, and the that. features on it are gonna be insane too. Which, who, who did you have confirmed at least? Like, well, who you got on there? I can't talk about that yet. You had a uh, Yachty and Offset on the first one, and was it Ferg too? I uh, had Yachty, Offset, Ferg. Um, who else was on the first one? That's that Solomon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, exactly. Speaking of features and stuff like that, what's the status? Get it, man. Well, are we gonna get a project from you and Pump? To be honest, me and Pump have like four or five projects recorded, bro. You know what I'm saying? We also have the Gucci Gang tape that that we never dropped. It's just me, Pump, and Gucci. 
Yo, I forgot. Damn, I forgot about I'm that. Saying that shit might come out someday. I don't know, but like you know, we did that. Damn, I forgot about that. Pull, pull a mic in just a little tiny bit. Pause. Yeah, but we did that. Yeah. Um. Damn, I forgot about that. I remember like when I was you know being on the block, niggas was talking about that. Like, yo, that about to be crazy. Like, yeah, I mean, shit. We, me, Gucci, and Pump perform uh, headlined the stage at Coachella yeah. as as Gucci Gang. Yeah. So damn. That- why didn't that drop initially right away? Like, it was it was supposed to drop right it was supposed to drop right before Coachella and then we were supposed to perform the album. Mm-hmm. But um we were all three also working on albums that were already about to drop. So oh. so you know we didn't want it to interfere with anybody's anybody's drop, you know what I'm saying? I think I think maybe Gucci had dropped or something. Um, he had just came home or something like that at that around that time. No. Nah, no, nah, this no. was 2000 like 2000 what, 19? Damn. Yeah. Time. <sighs> Time. Um, damn. That's crazy. Well, Shows. Yeah, we made you... it, yeah, but we made it in like 2019, probably close to like yeah, like beginning of 2019. And we we haven't dropped it yet. I feel that. What what was your uh, reaction when you seen a uh, pump endorsing Trump online? Like what, what... <laughs> Man, ain't none of my business. <laughs> hey, little pimp went crazy that day. <laughs> shout, that shout out, little pimp. I mean, I don't, I won't do nothing like that. But you know what I'm saying? That's that shit was funny as fuck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was dying, bro. I was sitting there fucking dying, bro. That's insane, bro. I was sitting there dying, man. I love it, man. Legendary song, That's Smoke sure. Perp, wrote on that. Big boy checks after that. <laughs> <laughs> Number one song. Yes, sir. Fucking crazy, man. I've always heard like a lot of like stuff like, oh, Valet was supposed to be on it. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I heard there's a remix with him on it or original version. Did you hear anything like that? Or I I never heard any of the, the Valet versions. Like I... No. Okay. Yeah, I think Valet's fire though. I fuck with Valet, hard. yeah, he's hard. I would have loved that. But um, movie. but when I when when I when I did the song with 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 Pumper and Pumper, yeah, um, it was just it was just you three in the studio. It was just no no no. I was at Pump and um and Ye was on the phone with Pump while Pump was recording it. No, while. Yeah, well, well, I was recording. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, you wrote. Okay, then he cut to it after. Yeah. Okay, and then they cut it after. Oh, okay. Did you know, like, in that moment, like, yo, this shit, this shit out of here is a hit. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Like, was it the energy in the room? What did you feel like? Or you just heard the song? Nah, I just, I mean, I just, I just like knew what like the vibe was for it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I knew that I knew that it was a hit. I knew it was a hit. Did you ever work with Kanye other than that? Um No, I never I never I never not that I remember of, but I never linked up with Kanye like in person. You know what I'm saying? It was just like if he sent he sent you a few records and you jumped on type shit. Um No, nah, like like the first the first time I like I, that I ever did anything with Ye was was the I love it shit. And then um the other song I had with Ye, it was through a producer. Mm, who you know produced that? Um, I forgot, to be honest. You still work with Apex and stuff? Yeah, Apex, my boy. Yeah. And then, you know, I, for Death Star 2, I was working with Mike Dean also. Mm-hmm. Even before that, like, I, I was already fucking with Mike Dean. I've been fucking with Mike Dean since 2016. Yeah, no. You know sure. what I'm saying? Since early. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's a, he he's one of the ghosts. And, like, when, when I found out he fucked with my music. It was up. It was insane, yeah. Like he invited me to his house. I came to his house, and um, the first day, the first day I came to his house, like I made a song. Like, um, per- did that song come out or anything? Um, it got leaked. Like it got like a piece of it got leaked, but um, nah, the song the song never came out yet. Yet. Damn. Um, Mike Dean, legendary, Texas, legendary guy. Um, uh, yeah, bro, you work with Tupac, like. Travis, everything. What what um whatever happened with you being signed to Cactus Jack? Um 
I was never really like signed to Cactus Jack on paper. Uh-huh. It was just more on something like we was fucking with each other. Like it was like, you know what I'm saying? Gang shit. Type yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's still that's still gang. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's still, you know what I'm saying? I I, I love Charles forever. And he's one of the goats. Mm-hmm. But um, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I just you know what I'm saying? When I when I was fucking with Travis, that was around my first project, Death Star One. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So I wasn't that big yet. You mm-hmm. give me Death Star One, that's where Audi was. You know what I'm saying? To the moon. Exactly. So like, you know, and also me and Travis fingers blue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he helped me, he helped me with a lot, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I I appreciate him for life for that. You know what I'm saying? He came out like yeah. he I remember at Rolling Out Miami, like he he brought me out during his set and he said, like, yo, this one this is about to be one of the illest motherfuckers of this generation. Like, like in front of everybody. Like during his set. And I was like, damn, like, it's just like the most love you can show somebody. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He's he's a great person. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was just it was just on some like on some like, you know, we gang. It was a look. Like it was just it was, just, it was just like, you know, we gang. Like we fucking with each other. Like he took he took me um he he took he was on tour with Kendrick, like on the down tour. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I went I went to I went to a few of the shows, all type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was going to shows with him, type of shit to his shows and I was coming out. He brought me out in, in, in Texas. You know what I'm saying? And I was just, you know, I was just fucking with him, like on some gang shit. So it was just like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He kite this jack, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take us uh back to the fingers blue. Like, how did that record come about? Were you guys just in the studio together, or just like I said? Yeah, we was in the studio together. So, how, so, um, basically, how, how, like, we kind of first linked is he he had posted a video on his on his Instagram, like listening to different color Molly. You know what I'm saying he was like, "This shit hard as fuck." Like he was like turning up to that shit, mm-hmm. and um, and I was like, "Damn!" Like he's fucking with me, and then you know what I'm saying? Like I think I think. I think he DM me or I DM him or something like that. We started fucking with each other, and then you know I had um, I had um, Todd Moskowitz, you know what I'm saying, link us because yeah, like you know yeah. he's already cool with him. And then mm-hmm. once he, once he linked us, you know what I'm saying, it was up from there. And then we made Fingers Blue. Um, there was there's another song we made like the first day I met him. Like, it was me, him, and Shaq West that ha- that hasn't came out yet. Um, Sounds and um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I might. I don't know, but it, it might come out someday. I don't know. But y'all, y'all cool. Y'all still talk everything. Yeah, yeah, we cool. That's good. Man. Yeah, Travis, I'm excited to hear his new project for sure. Shit's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be insane. There's a lot of goats about to drop this year for sure. Drake, yeah. Travis, Cole, probably Kendrick. You no, know, I, I fuck with Drake too. Shout out to Drake. That's the book. That's my. That's. Um. Yeah, I remember you. Uh, you turned the block up the day. Uh, you posted a picture with you and Drake. Everybody like, damn, this nigga purple out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like I like before I used to send them songs all the time, and he just used to like you know, text me back and be like, oh, this shit hard, this shit hard. You know, what I'm saying I just, you know, what I'm saying just to get opinions, and you know, he's a real genuine person. He's a good yeah. person. You know, what I'm saying shout out Drake. Um, you guys ever? Work? Yeah, it was to be honest, it it was really weird because like you know a lot of big artists were fucking with me early. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, my first co-sign was the weekend. He was the first person to post my music. Like I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I was like, just all these people were just fucking me back to back, and I was like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying, I made a song with Nav. Mm. Yeah, I remember that when shit. Nav posted uh, one of the songs driving in his car. Yeah. With the weekend, okay. So he was with the weekend. Okay, yeah. bit, bit. All right, yeah, I remember when it was he... ski mask. Uh... It was, and it was the weekend, and Nav was next to him. Mm, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah it was on that. the weekend's Instagram. Yeah, okay, yeah, bit. he was the fake. He was the first one to post me. Wow, crazy times, man. Niggas was <sighs> we wild out those days, man. The fun times. Um, what do you think about like the SoundCloud? Era and see now, you know, we've had people pass and people have big success. Like, what do you think the state of that is? Like, you think, man, I think it's crazy, bro. I think it's no, some people, some people might say it might be like, oh, rap is not the most dangerous job in the world, but mm-hmm. to be honest, bro, it kind of it is a dangerous job, bro. Sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like people got to move safe, bro, because it's like we losing too many people, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Pop, R.I.P. Nip, 
You know what I'm yeah. saying? R.P. Mac Miller, Peep, X. Yes. You know what I'm saying? R.P. All of them, like, I'm saying we losing Juice World. We losing a lot of people, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people from our, scene, our yeah. scene. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. We lost. I mean, like, if you think about it, like, you know, like, if you look at rap right now, like. Six Dogs, you know what I'm saying? R.P. Oh, six fuck. Dogs. R.P. Six Dogs. That just happened. And then yeah. even Vino just got murdered. Mm-hmm. R.P. him with some, some shooting or something like that. But if you think about it, it's like Drake, Kendrick Cole, like, you know what I'm saying? They're the top dog. Like, nigga, we lost a few of our two two or three top dogs. Like, you know, X, yeah. Juice, or Peep. Like, it yeah. leaves, left just crazy hole in this void and shit. Like, it's fucking insane, man. Yeah, bro, it's sad, bro. Like, that's why it's like, that's why I just don't, I don't fuck with the internet like that, bro. Like, I just... I don't even like posts and shit, cause I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, people, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like people just be watching rappers just to see who's going to be where, like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's, I don't know. It's, it's dangerous, bro. I think rap is really dangerous. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Especially now, especially in time, like times like this. You get me? Yeah. Money's, nigga, money's fucking scarce. EDD boys went crazy, though. <laughs> 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 Them niggas went crazy. Um, you know, no you've been kidding. in this for a long time too. It's like, what has been some of your highest points and lowest points in your career up until now? I've hit a lot of highest points, but I think I still haven't hit my highest point. I think one of my highest points was when I got nominated for a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my, oh, my highest. Oh, the Dreamville shit. Yeah. Oh I, yeah. Yeah, and I think, uh, I think I still haven't hit the highest point. I think I could win a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. Saying the Grammy nomination is good for now, you know what I'm saying? Cause I haven't been, I only have three out, like three, mm-hmm. eight, three, four projects out, you know what I'm saying? Cause I like, you know what I'm saying? I really believe in quality over quantity. Yeah. So, like, I don't like, I don't like just putting anything out there. Like, I, I take my time with my work. Like, I really appreciate music. So, mm-hmm. I like taking my time with my work. And um, that's the reason, like, you know, I don't drop. I don't just drop anything. You get me? That's why I have only four projects out. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because I drop really. I really only drop like one project a year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, maybe I might skip a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, but yeah. What about some of your maybe like your lowest points? Lowest points. I think. I think my lowest point was probably when I went to when I went to rehab when I was like fucked up, like on hella drink. Glad you made it out of there, bro. Hell yeah. Appreciate that, bro. Sure. Glad you made it out of there. Um, I don't know. I said a lot of things. You know, you spoke about being a drugged out six, uh, drugged out state, saying anything to get a bitch. <laughs> On <the> shrooms. <laughs> On <the> shrooms. <laughs> On <the> shrooms. <laughs> um, are you are you single right now or are you still dating Noah? Like what what's up? Hey man. Man, you gotta get her pregnant. Get in the Cyrus family, bro. Get in the Cyrus family, smoke perp. <laughs> get her pregnant. I mean, For yeah. The culture. I mean, yeah. Me, me and me and Noah, me and Noah still talk, yeah. That's good, man. Handle that. <laughs> Got you, bro. You know. I'm do it for you. Get her pregnant, man. <laughs> You're gonna have. Have you met Billy Ray Cyrus? Yeah. Who on the, on the like? phone. On, on the, the phone? phone, like on Facetime. He what? cool. Does he know your music or anything like that? I mean, probably now he does. Like, now he knows me. He probably definitely searched me up. But, yeah, like, I met her whole family. I met her mom, I met her, her sister. Like, Have you met Hannah Montana? Yeah, her sister. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> met her sister. Yeah. They cool. Oh, man, that's fucking crazy, man. I would love to see, like, a like a short episode of just, like, Smoke Perp Comes to Thanksgiving. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Imagine it was like a Hannah Montana episode, but it's like smoke. If Hannah Montana existed now, but Smoke Perp comes to th- Thanksgiving giving dinner, <laughs> oh, no, you funny as hell, bro. That would be fucking funny. Hey, yo, Tristan, you got my freeze. That would be fucking hilarious. Um, the Dead Star show. Speaking of shows, yeah. like, are you gonna continue that? What do you want to accomplish with that? I think yeah, it's yeah, dope. yeah. I'm definitely gonna uh, probably drop more episodes of it. Right now, we're working on something. Um. I don't know if I could speak about it, but like, 
we we're working on this show, you know what I'm saying, that I might be coming out with, you know what I'm saying, and it's going to be really fire. This is going to be on TV. Um, we're working right now. We're working on um. I'm about to have, I'm about to have a show on mm -hmm. TV, that's about to be crazy lit. I can so. see you as a reality star. I would love. To, imagine they redid Flavor of Love. Oh yeah, so bro. Perfect. I'm about to do movies and all that, bro. That would be hard. I'm starting off with the show, and you know what I'm saying I built my way up in the in the acting industry. Mm. Okay. But For, yeah, that's what we're working on right now. Yeah, I can see they should read. You should redo Flavor of Love. No, nah, I can't say it on camera, but after I'm gonna tell you what what the show what the okay, show's bit. about. Okay, bit. Huh? You can tell me what is the show about. So basically, it's like um, it's like crib, like MTV Cribs, but basically what it is is like, I go to I go to other rapper studio sessions. You get me? <laughs> and then you know I just go in there, get in with them, make a song. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of just talk to them and you know chop it up with them, and it's just basically just me studio hopping. You get me like just yeah. going to a whole bunch of different artist studio sessions, and you know that's what the show is about. Is it like established artists or up and coming? No, nah, like established artists, big artists. You oh know wow! What I'm saying? Big, big. It could, it could be, it could be somebody who's sixty five and got ten Grammys. Mm -hmm. It could be somebody who's you know from from uh, from my generation, but yeah, it's basically just like you know like studio hopping and. No, nah, that's hard. So yeah, so right now we're working on that show, and it's um uh, it's gonna be on TV. It's gonna be lit. That's hard. All right. Now the hard question. What kind of tacos are you going to eat later? I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. No. People, do you do you think, honestly, do you think you fell off? And if you do, what's your plan to get back on top? I mean, I don't think I fell off. I just think I'm, I'm how I've always been. You know what I'm saying? I drop music when I feel like dropping music. Mm -hmm. Like if I, if I feel like, I, I, I don't want to drop music right now. I won't drop music right now. And I feel like the way it is now, people drop like four projects a year, five projects a year, and I don't do that. You mm -hmm. get me? Like how I said, like I believe in quality over quantity. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I guess some people expect you to drop, they expect me to drop four or five projects a year, mm -hmm. and that's just not how I am. You get me? So I'd rather drop one project a year and make it go crazy. You get me? So I guess some some people would they wouldn't say I fell off, but they they would say like you know oh you don't drop as much music as you used to like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and shit like that. But um, I think I think you know what I'm saying I mean this this year alone I'm dropping four projects. So okay. you know what I'm saying. So I think I so, think I think what I'm gonna do is just give them a little more. You know so what I'm saying? The plan is to be more consistent. And yeah. I mean, I've always been consistent. I just don't drop as much as other artists drop. You yeah, get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Well, I'm excited for that. I definitely want to... I feel like even when I put the tweet out, a lot of your fans, they just want to... You know, they want to see you up, bro. They want to... They yeah. want to see you, you know, back to full smoke per potential and everything. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. sure can. I've heard some music. I mean, shit, everything I drop, it's, it still goes crazy. Like, you go mm -hmm. on my Spotify, everything is 50, 100 million streams, 200 yeah. million streams. Like... You know what I'm saying? Off my chest, like that, that was that, hard. That came out last year. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That shit got what, like what, sixty million streams on Spotify, or some shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like my yeah. shit, it's still going. It still goes crazy. I just don't drop a lot. You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess, I guess you know, some people might say, "Oh, he fell off. He doesn't drop as much music." But when I do, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, see what it does. Exactly. I also think you can't count anybody out these days you know we like tiktok and all the different just the internet in general like nigga you wake up made a random song you're seeing songs from two plus years ago going crazy number one now exactly. or whatever like you know top 10 or just songs but but i'm not gonna lie it was a point it was a point where people were like oh you're falling off you're falling off you're not you're not dropping you're not dropping shit but um you know what I'm saying? Once I started dropping again, everybody's like, Smoke Purpose back, Smoke Purpose back, Smoke yeah. Purpose back. Like, if you look through my comments, it's like, everybody's like, Smoke Purpose is about to have the biggest comeback. And I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm about to come back crazy. I'm about to flood shit. Because that's what they want. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what people want. They just want you to flood shit. That's what they consider not falling off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, the consistency but by this media. time, since like, you know, I since like I told you I dropped one project a year and the rest of the year I'm just recording. Mm-hmm. 
if I want to, I could just flood shit with shit that is quality. Yeah. You get me? And that's what I'm about to just do. I like it. I like the plan. Definitely want to see our, see my boy make his comeback. No cap. Shit, um, I never left. What's your... Mm. Uh, what what all right so like stocks and stuff are going crazy right now like everyone's buying stocks like yeah, what are some everybody, plan- everybody became everybody became a jordan- stock trader overnight oh god everybody became jordan belfort <laughs> <laughs> which is fire nigga i see it see niggas getting like up three beds all types of shit I'm like nigga what the fuck i'm about to go home and go handle that <laughs> like for real for real what is like some other like outside of music like what are some other business plans smoke perp got like Make some more money and just overall just create generation generational wealth or just wealth in general. Um, well, one of uh, one of my managers, D, like he um, he works in real estate, okay. right? So he helped me get into that. So you know what I'm saying. So real estate, you know what I'm saying. Outside outside of music or outside of entertainment. Uh, just. I mean, outside of music, really. Outside but, of music, like I told you, like you know, I'm getting into the acting shit. I got okay, the show, yeah. the show about to come out, um, and um, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to get as as much as much source as much sources of income as I can get. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying I'm in the cannabis industry. I've been in the cannabis industry. I, you know, what I'm saying so. So you know, I got, I got, I got, I got a few different sources of income. You know, what I'm saying like, it's not just music. You know, what I'm saying so. That's good, man. Everybody got to get rich. The whole world. Fuck Wall Street. (laughs) 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 Nah, nigga. This nigga fill my shit up. Well, all right. We usually do this to close it out and everything. Uh, What's your message for our generation? My message for our generation is, you know, you guys are one of the best blogs out there right now. You know. Not for us personally. Oh, you're talking about our generation. But we appreciate that. Yeah. And I was going to say, I'm really, I'm actually really happy that you we we that that you that that we did this and that you're working at our generation. I appreciate but that. But my plans for our, I don't know I can't make a plan for our generation, but like if I have a, do I have a message for our generation yeah. you're saying? What is the message? Um, if I had if I had to give a message right now is um don't believe don't believe everything you see online and don't fall fo- don't follow in the f- in the footsteps of ra- in ra- of rappers cuz you know what I'm saying? You might find yourself doing some shit that you never would do. And oh, the rapper probably don't even do it himself. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's niggas like, be capping. Yeah, exactly. Niggas be capping. So, you know, everybody should just be they, be they self and follow their dreams. You feel me? Yeah. Just, you know. It exists, man. It's real. Just... Stay on the path. Stay consistent. It's exactly, bro. You've known me for a while. You saw my whole come up, yeah. like literally. I know. I've seen. I've. Should I remember, bro? We was eating baked wings on Melrose, hanging out at Marty's at and them uh, upstairs and Dreddy's barbershop. Exactly. Shop. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Dreddy. Shout out Dreddy, man. Like it's been a long time. Long time. A lot of fun memories. Trying to make some more. Boss up some more. Go crazy. We young, bro. Like we all got on at very. You know what I'm saying? Or got around stuff very young. Like, nigga, how old are you? 23? Mm-hmm. Man. You good, bro. Keep doing your thing. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. My brother. Oh, my boy. Love All you, right. bro. Love you, bro.